Ustekinumab was approved for the treatment of moderate to severe Crohn's disease over a year ago based on what are known as the UNITY and IMMUNITY trials. The UNITY 1 and 2 trials enrolled patients who were either naive to biologic therapy or those who had been exposed to biologic therapy. In both groups, there was a benefit compared to placebo. Patients from UNITY 1 and UNITY 2 were then re-randomized into what's known as the immunity trial that followed them for up to 44 weeks, almost a year. Individuals who were in clinical remission at the end of 44 weeks could enroll in a long-term extension, receiving either ustekinumab 90 milligrams every eight weeks or every 12 weeks. And they were followed for up to 96 weeks, so almost two years of treatment. At this year's ACG, Bill Sanborn is presenting data on this long-term extension that demonstrated that the majority of patients, approximately three quarters, who were in clinical remission at the end of 44 weeks, sustained their remission to the end of nearly two years. In addition in this study, there were no new side effects that were encountered, and the safety profile was essentially the same as it was within the one-year data. These long-term data are very important for us. With TNF inhibitors, there appears to be a gradual loss of response that may be due to a variety of different factors. Ustekinumab actually has a longer half-life than the TNF inhibitors, and there is less immunogenicity. It's very reassuring to see that these patients have a long-term response that does not require additional dose adjustments or new medical interventions. In my opinion, ustekinumab would be an excellent choice as a first-line biologic for treatment of patients with moderate to severe Crohn's disease. It has excellent efficacy as well as safety, and the every two month injection under the skin is a very convenient formulation for patients who are anticipating long-term use. Ustekinumab has been found to be extremely safe in comparison to many of other therapies for inflammatory bowel disease. In particular, the infectious complications don't seem to be significantly increased compared to placebo, and thus far there have been no increased risks of lymphoma in patients treated with ustekinumab. We actually have long-term safety data from the psoriasis population in what's known as the SOLAR study that compared ustekinumab with other treatments, including TNF TNF inhibitors for psoriasis. And in this population, uh, ustekinumab appears to be the safest formulation or certainly the safest biologic for the treatment of psoriasis. And neither the immunity trial up to 44 weeks or the long-term extension identified any additional risk factors beyond which was seen in the solar population. There are many similarities between Crohn's disease and rheumatoid arthritis, including the disease progression. Our rheumatologic colleagues have identified medications that stop the progression of joint damage, and those therapies are known as disease-modifying uh, drugs in rheumatology. We've yet to identify a disease modification endpoint in the setting of Crohn's disease, but as we've already alluded to, 80% of patients are going to progress and need surgery uh, for either the strictures or other complications. And avoiding that progression, if we can halt the inflammatory progression and stop the almost inevitable progression to transmural complications, we actually have the potential to modify the disease in Crohn's disease.